Today, the council organized a summit coinciding with the International Day of Older Persons to further discuss and dialogue with other stakeholders on the needs and rights of the elderly. So International Day of Older Persons was October 1st. Each year the council seeks to organize an event to commemorate the day. Uh, this year we've organized a national summit for older persons along the international team for International Day of Older Persons, which is fulfilling, fulfilling the promises of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights over 75 years on across generations. So today we're talking to older people about their universal rights um, and also looking at more intricate details, the Inter-American Convention on the Rights of Older Persons, which is the only international document that exists to protect rights of older people. We have a presentation from the People's Constitution Commission to talk about constitution reform and how older persons can become involved in that. And also a look at the sustainable development goals and what that means for an aging population. And then this afternoon, the older persons will be receiving a advocacy workshop because one of the things that we do know about older people is that they need to be able to claim their voice in society, to speak up for their rights, and to also empower themselves as individuals and as organizations. Pat says that it is important that they formulate these groups so older persons can feel a sense of belonging to something like an organization. There is no need to fade into the background of society, but instead it is important that they feel a sense of involvement and utility. Older people make up about 6% of our population, which is relatively small. We have, um, Latin America and the Caribbean have the highest rate of population around the world, and so this number grows, drast well not drastically, but this number grows steadily every year. And so it's important as we become older to understand that the rights that we have in our society don't end at a certain age, they carry through, but even more so that when we talk about things like uh, life with dignity, what does that mean for an older person, someone who might be dependent on someone else? When you talk about the right to work, what does that look like for an older person? Um, and so it's important that we have these discussions with older people, that they understand what their rights are. But more importantly, we learned during the COVID pandemic that only about 30% of our older people are attached to organizations, which means that about 70% of all older people in Belize remain invisible. Because if you are not a part of an organization, if you're not seen, if you're not participating in your community, you kind of fade into the background. And that's one of the very important reasons why we are discussing rights, how to claim your rights, and then this afternoon, the advocacy portion. Because you will find that older persons are at times placed in vulnerable situations, and they are unsure how they can or where they should go for help. While the Inter-American Convention strongly advocates for human rights, one would note that there aren't any specific provisions in the Act for the Rights of Older People. While your age may tend to slow you down and hinder you from doing the things you could do a few decades ago, that doesn't necessarily mean that you should lose those privileges, rights, or even a voice or valued opinion. Well, I presented an idea regarding how to uh, adapt to Belize the Inter-American Convention on Older Persons. And this is the first convention on specifically for older persons that shows that all the older persons are not a, a, a part of the society. They have been treated, they are supposed to be treated as a specific group with specific needs, with specific rights, with specific public policies. That's very important to understand that they have a lot to contribute to the society. Being old doesn't mean that you are discarded or that you are supposed to be in a museum with uh, your traditions. Me, uh, you have to understand that older persons, they, they are active. They have to write to sports. They have, to write, they have the right to dance. They have the right to have their own public policies targeting them. And not only for older persons, but to specific groups of older persons. Uh, indigenous, rural people, uh, uh, women, I mean, older women, they need to have their own rights recognized. Uh, that is to say, oh, we have already a lot of laws uh, protecting citizens, uh, human rights laws, the American Convention on Human Rights. But th those uh, instruments, they don't talk about specific rights for older people. They are talking about more rights for more people. That's the OAS, Organization for American States, motto nowadays. Let's, to be, uh, let's be able to, to build a society where 
all the people are active. They are part of the society. They are not only respected, but they are active part of the society. They contribute to the society. These discussions are the earliest stages of what could possibly lead to legislation for the elderly. That's what CEO Leal says he hopes to achieve in his ministry. Joe Marie Lanza, 7 News.